evaluating fractions raised to powers really isn't much different than raising whole numbers to powers. In this first example, we have 3 fourths to the second, or 3 fourths squared. Notice how the base is 3 fourths and the exponent is 2. So if we write this out in expanded form, 3 fourths to the second is equal to 3 fourths times 3 fourths. We have two factors of 3 fourths because the exponent is 2 and the base is 3 fourths. So in this form, we can just multiply the fractions. 3 times 3 is equal to 9, and 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Another way to look at this is if we have 3 fourths raised to the second, what we're really doing is just squaring the numerator, that would be 3 squared, and squaring the denominator, which would be 4 squared, which would give us the same fraction of 9 sixteenths. Let's go and take a look at a second example. Here we have 2 thirds raised to the third, or 2 thirds cubed. So now the base is 2 thirds, and our exponent is 3. So writing this out in expanded form, we would have 3 factors of 2 thirds. Again, our base is 2 thirds, and the exponent is 3. So now we can go ahead and multiply. 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8 and 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. Again, the other way to look at this is if we have 2 thirds raised to the third power, we're really just cubing the numerator and cubing the denominator. 2 to the third is equal to 8, and 3 to the third is equal to 27. Whichever way we want to do this, we can see the result is the same.